Caravan Salon 2018. This is the stand of roller team. This is their Kronos 294 TL. It's a new van for 2019. Let's go and have a look at it now. First thing I'll give you is the price so you can be safe, you don't even want to watch any, any more of the film. And that is 54,000 euros. Kickoff's 51,000 euros. I must say that's a bit cheaper than I was expecting. Okay, well, let's um, have a look first of all, the garage. Pretty big. Oh, I can give you the. Um, Dimensions. I didn't give you the dimensions for a very good reason. It's not written here. It is. Sorry. <laughs> Wasn't looking properly. 641 centimeters long, 295 high, and it is, the inner height is 208 centimeters. I mean, that's pretty good, isn't it, really? Um, oh, and the uh, external width is 235. Uh, it's on a forward basis, you probably tell that from the, uh, the front. And that's a Ford Transit 2 litre TDI, that's 170 horsepower. Lights are coming on. Oh, the lights are coming on because people are coming in here to work. So they're going to be cleaning the stand up. So I might uh, might have to move from this stand as it's being cleaned up. So that's my choice. I can either film when there's no lights on and you can't see anything because there's no one here. Alternatively, I can not film when there are people here and the lights are on. Or something like that. Right. Ford has always given a stack of space in the uh, bulkhead. This time, oh, there's a lot there. Let's have a sit down, have a look at it. Now, the seat seems to me to be pretty low. Now, I know you can put the seats up a bit, so maybe these are as far down as they will go, but it seems to be very low to me. Here, we've got a interesting feature. You've got a, the bench there. You've also got another, you've got one down there as well. I suppose there's some kind of a cushion to put behind it, but that's useful. You can see that? Yeah. That's useful for keeping your feet on. Above me, there is not above me, above the lounge, I should say, is a bed, an extra bed. It's a single bed, by the looks of it. Might might do for two children. Under the bed, a locker. A locker over the kitchen, and uh, there's a locker on the other side as well. Here we have a uh, mirror as you come in, so you can check your check your tie straight before going out onto the campsite. The floor is not flat, but I mean that price also was you would, you wouldn't expect it to be. I'll show you the floor. So we've got a step here. And there's a step. Let's see, so it's uh, that high, uh, about the height of my foot with the shoe on. The bed is accessed via a ladder, or you pull yourself up. Oh, I think it would have benefited from some kind of a step. Would a step be possible? That is the question. Maybe you had a pull-out thing. Again, this price. Uh, you've got the uh, toilet there is on the left. Now, the, the toilet door would have effectively prevented the step. But if it were a sliding door, you could put the step in. You. So anyway, there's some ideas. I'll show you how this far this back goes back. And this is this is why I believe that the toilet door should face the other way. You, when you get out of bed, you haven't got much space there. I mean, I'm pretty thin. Now, why at night? Well, you know, so you get up at night and you're sort of you're still uh, three quarters asleep. So, but during the day. You know, you're full of beans and you can manage to negotiate the door open the other way. That's my opinion. Anyway, right, toilet, shower. Oh, it's a really big shower, this one. Look at that. 
There's me. Shower in there. Locker there. And there's a step there. Right, this bed here is a non standard shape, and that helps as far as making the sho shower bigger or the wet room bigger. Also see the height is adjustable. Light switch up there. The garage is already pretty big. You've got a fridge here, and below it you've got one of these things for keeping bottles in. Whatever they're called. Obviously it's new, so it's still got the plastic on. And here are some of the features of the Kronos 294TL, all inclusive. So you've got ma manual climate um, control, you've got um, driver and passenger airbags, cruise control, ESP, integrated antenna, Bluetooth radio, uh, you've got a window in the door, you've got a fly screen as you come in, oh you've got lots of things you can see down there, including solar panel actually. Um, it does use the word flexible space. No, I found out what that means. I'm sure somebody has an explanation, but uh, what's termed flexible space is, I think, they're referring to the garage. So that's the only thing which is flexible. Uh, you can sort of make the garage bigger or smaller, uh, depending on the height of the bed at the back. It's got a six year. Um, guarantee on water ingress and the motor comes with Ford's five-year guarantee. When a motorhome manufacturer knows the person who is making the, um, the conversion then it will give a uh, guarantee on its parts uh, based on the moment of sale, of the final sale. Whereas for example if I for argument's sake started building on Ford's and it took me six months to actually uh, build the van. You only get a four and a half year guarantee because uh, Ford doesn't know me, for argument's sake. Okay, it's uh, an impressive small van. You mightn't like the bit at the front. Because I talked about this space in the bulkhead a little bit and uh, so that you've got a little bit of wind drag there. That, that may be one feature that doesn't appeal to you. I'm just thinking these things off the top of my head. Um, but you know, for this, the, the price point of this van is quite reasonable. I'm unable to see on uh, quality. I've got Justin who watches. Uh, Films and he often comes to ask you to write more about uh, build quality. And I'm suspect to, uh, on, on this one, when things are cheap vans, there's a couple of manufacturers which are pretty cheap. There's one that does conversions from about 32,000 euros. But you've got to start asking, you've got to, obviously, you've got to start, I don't know if cutting corners is the right way, but not doing things to the same level as others. I have seen the track which, for example, Heimer does its uh, test runs on. Um, only what, less than four weeks ago I travelled up to northern Poland, now, uh, part of the way in the countryside and uh, the rattling roads, very similar to the test tracks. I had a problem, the, um, the heater came off in the bathroom and uh, uh, you know so the, the vehicle was going bang 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 bang. And, uh, okay well I'm just I'm glad it did come off actually because then we learned how to actually build the thing so it doesn't come off hopefully it won't come off again but um, um, 
so I use these examples. I, I really don't know. I've got no evidence to suggest that anything, for example, the roller team or other companies may have cut corners or something of that nature. I have no evidence, not, nothing at all. I'm just pointing out that when a van is uh, much cheaper than another, there could be a good reason for it. Or it could be that the other ones are all overpriced. I don't know. I'm just throwing these ideas out to you. Right, so this is the Kronos 294 TL from Roller Team. And if you found that interesting, you might want to see more films. And if you found it boring, then you won't want to see any more.